Welcome everyone. This is Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions. Thank you for joining me where today I'm going to be showing you two examples of an idea that I have seen used that is a wonderful way of personalizing your catalog program to ensure that guests not only read it, but they take it home, they love it, and they use it. I'm going to be using the word program or catalog interchangeably today, even though there is a difference between the two of them. Some groups will have a catalog printed and a program. Others will combine the two of them and they will call it a catalog or a program or a booklet or any other number of terms that work for them. There is a difference between the two, but for today's purposes we're just going to use the term generically. One of the reasons that it's useful to get a guest to take home your program is not only does it help with your branding because now they're taking this home and they constantly see your name at their house, but it has to do with sponsorship. And I'm not going to go into sponsorship today. I've got a whole two hour class that if you're interested in sold out sponsorships, you can peruse my website and track that one down. But if you are able to use your catalog creatively, it can benefit your sponsors and thereby help your relationship with them. Just know that. Some of you may be aware that I always like when I'm working an event, I bring home three catalogs always. And those go into my permanent files. I put one into the client file, I put one into what I call the permanent file, and then I've got another one which goes into the catalog file. And then occasionally I will bring home extras as well. And if I don't use those maybe at a workshop or give them to a client or something like that for an example of, of one nature or another, then I will go ahead and pull a few of those together and I sell them in what is called the catalog carnival about once, maybe twice a year. There's never a lot of them, but it's a way for me to kind of get them out of my house and someone else can use them. In fact, I have a, a, a one client who uh, is a consulting client. I haven't done their event, but she's a consulting client and she'd never done a catalog before. So it was really useful for her to just even see the different styles available and that may be true for you too. Or maybe you've done thousands of catalogs, but there's always different ideas that you can glean from them, which is why people like them. So <laughs> to start to pull these two examples together, I have decided to take one nonprofit catalog and one public school catalog as examples of what they've done that I think is really neat and a, a, just a, a wonderful way to showcase what they do and what that event was about, but as well as get people to take their program home and use it. The first one here is from Princeton Senior Resource Center. This is a nonprofit up in the Princeton, New Jersey area. Princeton, New Jersey, you probably immediately think of Princeton University. This is a nonprofit that is providing classes and resources for seniors. One of the neat things about their particular resource center is that because they are so close to Princeton, they put on some fabulous programs. They are just pulling talent from all of these retired professors up there at Princeton. They've got a, their, their network is, is broad up there and they're able to put on some really slam dunk educational programs, interesting things, uh, just because they've got such great talent in the area that they're using. As this gala is appealing to seniors, retirees and so forth. If we open this up, what do we see? We see articles. Now how many programs have you seen that have useful or even humorous articles written into them like a journal? This is more like a journal. So the first one, and you may not be able to see it here in the video because text never comes out real good in a camera, so I'll just highlight them to you. 60 is the new 40 is one article here. 70 is the new 50 is another one. We have 80 is the new 60, the new retirement, the new 18. We've got another article here. And then look at this, a crossword puzzle. Oh my gosh, if my mom could see this, she would start working on that immediately. That is so apropos for who they're trying to target. This is rich with all these different things in here. So in addition to the normal things, the normal types of information that you would find into a program, they've also added it, peppered it with something that is applicable and, and very interesting to their own gala guests. That's what gets their guests to take it home. 
to turn to a school idea. This is a group I worked with in Texas. It's just outside the Dallas area. It is an Louisville ISD Education Foundation. And their gala attracts over 600 people. It is a tasting event, a chef tasting event. So they probably had 25 different chefs there, different restaurants who were providing bite size samples of maybe their favorite dishes there at the restaurant and guests could mingle and enjoy and uh, the food and just kind of uh, make their way around the room to try the different food. At this event, and this is a really nice program, this is a very classy pulled together program. I'm not going to go through it all, again I'm just trying to feature one one thing here today, but they have a tab called recipes. Recipes! Now this is this is called the fork and the, I always want to say fork and spoon, that's not right. What is the name of their event? How soon I forget. The fork and pencil. The pencil part is the education part. So if we flip over here to the, uh, to the recipe section, great, people have donated recipes. This might be the gala chair. This might be someone who's the educational foundation executive director and so forth. So they have recipes in here. So for anybody who likes to cook, and there's a lot of people who like to cook, I'm not one of them, but there are a lot who do, then they can take this home and they're getting a great recipe. So this is a way that is, is designing their program so that it's not just uh, something that's going to be left on the ballroom floor. People are taking it home and it ties into their event perfectly, perfectly. So what are you doing in your event and in your program to do the same? Is there something that you could add that would make it more meaty and so that instead of maybe just spending money on that printing and it not having it being used beyond the evening, is there something that you can u do to change it so that it's more valuable to your guests? That's the, the question that I'm asking today and encouraging you to ponder. Okay, For additional resources on how to improve your auction, make it easier to run, raise more money, you can head over to my website. That's at redappleauctions.com. I've got a lot of free resources and fee-based courses and so forth that you can take a look at over there and find what speaks to you. I'm Sherry with Red Apple Auctions. Thanks for watching. As always, good luck to you in your benefit auction.